I also, oh, I, oh, uh, I'll, if, no one's gonna buy the cow, if they get the milk for free. Yo! Hey! Whoa, hi! Most of you are only interested in seeing the Monster High reviews. So, I think it's about time that I throw in another one. A lot of people have reviewed the Genie. I hear that the D is silent, but I'm still gonna call her the Genie. And, oh, her box looks like this. It's that new box that some people like because it lets the light in, but some people hate it because they think it looks cheap. I personally, the cardboard ones get a little too crushed. You know what, I kind of like the ones before this if I had to choose it. I don't know, I like these ones too. They remind me a lot of action figures. Oh, do you want to see something? I found this new book at the Mattel store in Canada. Now, see how that's a new Draculaura? I haven't showed anyone this yet. Look who we got inside. Look, we've got a new Ghoulia. There she is. This is that velvet. You can paint that with your markers. But I think this tells us that Ghoulia is on the way. At least this is the first reboot item with Ghoulia in it. We don't know if the artwork was made before or not. Nonetheless, Ghoulia is here. And... I never doubted it for a minute. I knew she was coming. She's on her way. All right, back to our review. The Genie. The Genie Wisp Grant. Oh, the Comic Con. I have it over there. I do have the first Genie that has the snap on stand. I never opened that. You'd have to really convince me to open that one. I like the vampire guy that she comes with. I got lots of recent exclusives too. Did I do that? Did I put that up? I think I showed you that in my last haul. Check out all of the new exclusives that I found in my last haul. This is from the iHeart Fashion line. Oh, that I have to show you. That's something else. I have so much to show you. I have so much to tell you guys. I found this at Toys R Us. Yes, just a regular Toys R Us. It was on clearance because it wasn't a very good price, but they were having a buy one, get one half off on all clearance. So she did come out to be about $20. Now back to our review. Yeah, this isn't by any means a new doll right now. A lot of people have reviewed it. I've seen lots of them. That's how I knew that I had to buy it. I should always use this. Do, 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 if you are interested in other genie toys, check out my Shimmer and Shine review. See, now I, I got into here, and then I can just rip this apart, and I can save the card really well. See, and then you're in there. You got this giant card, and it's in pretty good shape. Daughter of the genie, how do you boo? That's pretty much all it says on there. See this outfit? That kind of reminds me of that ice cream four pack. And they're dressed up really cool, and we don't have that in Canada yet. I definitely want that ice cream four pack. Mostly for that Cleo's outfit, and she's got some kind of crown thing on her head that's really cool. Also, I like a budget. There's a lot in this set. I get it on sale. I think it might have been one of the ones that were $40 here. Can you believe that? But I got it half price, so that made it definitely affordable. 40 is a bit too much. Mm-hmm. Oh, have you guys seen the new... There's a Frankie, and it's this cool new mix and match fashion. Oh, I forget. It's like 10 pieces, 20 different outfits. It looks really cool. Oh, she came with a hairbrush. How about that? No stand, but a hairbrush. Every once in a while, they throw a little something something in like that. For some reason, they put this one in a three-dimensional form. And these two, they put on two cardboard hangers. Well, this is a hanger, this is a stand. I'll start with the clothes. So it looks like with this set, we get two dresses, the one that she has on, and this additional one. And then there are two bottoms, a skirt and a pair of pants, and two tops. Her hair is very weird colors, and she's very purple. There's a lot of purple going on here. 
clear. Purple. So her earrings, they blend right in with her hair. Her hair is not in the best shape, but she did come with a brush, so not that brushing ever made anyone's hair look any better. Blah, 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 brushing my dolly's hair. Okay, those are the bracelets that she has on. Looks like none of her accessories are painted, so that's a win for me. I love that. And her makeup looks like that. She's got gold eyeshadow on is the standout. And then she's got the tattoos on her forehead. I guess I really should have the other one here to compare them. Do I have to go get her? Oh, look at the tattoo on her hand. I guess I'm going to get that right now. Even though I know they look really similar. I just had cleaned this place up. Now it's going to be a mess again. I like her hair. Is it the same colors? It looks like a lighter purple in the new one. But her skin's the same color, and really the only difference is the lipstick and the eyeshadow. I guess I should show you why I'm doing this. So she's got silver in the San Diego exclusive, and she's got gold in the new one. But her coloring besides that is very, very similar. Almost identical. I wonder if her body splits in two. No, she doesn't have that body thing. She does, however, have really cool textured skin. I guess she's supposed to be a scorpion. I asked that before when I didn't know what was going on and why her body, because she's a genie, but I guess they made her a scorpion genie, which is kind of strange. It doesn't really make sense. She only comes with one pair of earrings, apparently, and they are exactly the same as these ones, except these ones are in translucent pink, and these ones are in solid purple. This is a hard review to do. There's a lot to cover. All right, so there is what she looks like. Now let's take all her clothes off. This is the belt she comes with. It's pretty nice and simple. Unpainted, I like that. Here's the necklace she comes with. It's got a really cool pattern on it. I like that too. Very cool. And this is what her dress looks like, not covered in accessories. And this dress is of a stiffer material with sparkles in it. And you can see that it's kind of translucent in the right light, but it's really dark and you can't really see through it. She comes with these shoes on. They're the same shoes. They're just a different color. They're just like a, a lighter pink in there. I don't know if you can see them. They're in there though. They're basically the same. They might even be the same color. If not, they're just a little bit different. And this is what her body texture looks like, which is so cool. I really like that. Again, I thought it might have been smoke before, but now I guess it's supposed to be like scorpion skin. And then she has these boots that match necklace and the belt, same plastic, crazy little hooks at the back, and then she's got this purse with a scorpion on it, it's the same on both sides, it opens a bit, and then she has all these little bangles, the light purple ones on, don't think you could fit all three on, yeah you can, so that's how we're gonna roll with that, because otherwise they're just gonna get lost, very very simple, and all the same. I like when fashion packs don't have sleeves because it just makes it more versatile for other dolls. Let's check out this dress first. This kind of follows some of the two hunky fashion rules. I have fashion rules. So she's got some cutouts here, so that's kind of revealing. And her skirt is really short. However, her neck goes up really high. This is kind of how I feel would be the rule. If you're gonna have a short skirt on, you don't have anything short up here. And if you have a long skirt on, you could wear a bikini at the top, basically. You don't give away at all. You just, you show some sexiness and then you hide other sexiness. You just, you never show all of the sexiness at once. Believe me, from someone who knows, don't give away all the milk for free when you can buy the cow. It goes something like that. Yeah, so she looks, um, it is, I mean, no daughter of mine. <sighs> yeah, it, it's quite, it's quite an outfit. Okay, let's move on. As long as you're living under my roof, things you never thought you'd hear yourself say. All right, so she got these glittery, glittery pants on. 
kind of 60s, kind of 60s, 70s. So I have to see if the sandals, the boot sandals will fit over them because I never saw anyone do that. I don't actually have a problem with that. Yeah, you can totally wear those boots over the pants like that. Now she needs a top on. It just has Velcro in the back, so she has to slide into it. Gotta sit up taller, I'm hurting my back. Her arms can be ripped off, so I might do that. Save myself some time. Take advantage, if you can disconnect your arm to get dressed, you take advantage of that. This might follow the rule a little bit better. Cause she's got some midriff showing, but you know, she's got her full pants on. It's not low cut at the top or anything. So it's still sexy, yet not too sexy. That's a good outfit, I like that. It's casual, again, very mod, very 60s. Got some shimmer in that top there. Lots of sparkles with this girl. I like that last outfit because it didn't match too much. Unless you're gonna do a whole uniform thing. You're getting all of Two Hunky's fashion tips now. Can do a whole uniform thing and that's cool. But otherwise, don't match your shoes to your handbag. They do a lot of matching to their hair in Monster High Land. So it's really hard to dress them up in stuff other than their own because their personal colors are so defined. So if you did have purple hair, you'd probably have to wear a lot of black or a lot of white, a lot of neutrals. They don't make neutral clothes in Monster Highland. So this, for me, qualifies as a uniform. So we got some gold and gold there. The light picks it up better. I'm getting a Star Trek vibe from this. So again, very 60s mod outfit going on here. I think the pink shoes would look good with this because again, you don't want to be too matchy. You want that pop. I would probably take off the pink bracelet in this case. But yeah, she looks good. I'd say that's a pretty good outfit. And you could even, like I said, really uniform it up and put these shoes back on and go gold, gold, gold all the way as you call uniforming. I made that term up, so hashtag copyright uniforming. Uniforming, when you wear clothes all in one color to make yourself look like you're wearing a uniform. Uniforming. Copyright hashtag Twunky Toys. That would be that outfit. Hide those bracelets. She wouldn't wear those bracelets with this outfit. So that's a pretty cool outfit. I don't think anybody did that one yet. I bet you I'm the first. Go check all the other videos. Yeah, 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 that's a cool outfit. Uniforming. Yeah, that's cool. That's cool. That's cool. And oh, and her gold eyelashes. Eyeshadow. Eye makeup stuff. One last thing that we didn't try on. And they have it paired with this top in the box. So I think it'll probably look good. I think I will put on these shoes because they are a different color. However, it would be nice to take advantage of the boots because she is wearing a skirt but she already has gold on, so. This is an example of you not having the accessories that match. Her bracelet that matches this purse would come off in an ideal world, but I'm not gonna remove those. But here, let's put this crown on her head. She's kind of like a princess. So I'm gonna hold her hair up with her belt. Get that out of the way, because that was just too much blue going on. And she comes with a brush. I don't know what to show. My thumbnail, do I show these things? Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Yeah, I'll, I'm, oh, no, I won't, I won't. I was gonna say I would take off her bracelets to make it look, to, to have legit, uh, I'll take off her bra, no, I won't take off. <laughs> Never mind. The genie. She looks good. She looks good there. Looking good, Wisp. Oh, Dejeanie. Looking good, Dejeanie. Take the glare off that. There we go. That's good. She looks good there. She looks. She looks like she's interested. Get that light off of there. Get that light out of the way. Oh yeah, oh, oh yeah, oh, I need some light on my face too, guys. She's pretty. I like her, she's pretty. Woo, I think we did it. 37 minutes 
of footage. I'm going to edit that down. Woo! Woo! Hope I showed you everything.